Hello, I'm Walter Alvarez. I teach geology at the University of California at Berkeley. My passion is figuring out the history of the Earth and the history of everything else as well. This is my student, Roland Seikow, who majored in product design here at Berkeley. Walter and I have been building a new tool for understanding history, all of history, and we'd like to show it to you now. Our new tool is called ChronoZoom. It's a powerful universal timeline that makes it possible to browse history like never before. Whether you're a scholar, a scientist, a teacher, a student, or just ready to learn something new, ChronoZoom makes exploring the past as easy as a few clicks. ChronoZoom is based on the idea of big history, a brand new discipline that considers all of the past as a single field of study. Big history aims to unify the history of the cosmos, the history of our Earth and of life on Earth, and the history of humanity, both before and after the invention of writing. Big History brings together all kinds of scholarly and scientific fields in this quest, ranging from history and linguistics and anthropology to geology and paleontology and genetics to astronomy and cosmology. Big History was invented about 20 years ago by the historian David Christian and is now poised to take off as a powerful new approach to understanding our world and the way it came to be. A new discipline needs new tools and ChronoZoom will provide big historians with three important new capabilities. ChronoZoom will make it easy to visualize the vast sweep of all the time that has ever passed. It will serve as a portal to enormous online resources, and it will encourage discussion and collaboration between scholars, scientists, and students from many different fields and specialties. ChronoZoom's timescales are drawn with the oldest events at the bottom and the youngest at the top, because that's the way history is recorded in rocks and in archaeological excavations. Let's take a closer look at ChronoZoom's timescales. Thanks to Microsoft Deep Zoom technology, we can zoom to incredible depths with amazing speed. Like Walter explained, these time scales are read from bottom to top. This yellow column represents all of cosmic history, and down at the bottom is the birth of our universe, the Big Bang. As we work our way up, you can see the formation of our solar system and the Earth at 4.5 billion years ago. Remember, the present is always at the top. These time scales describe Earth history. These are the official time divisions of geological time. We can see eons, eras, periods, and more. Here's the Cretaceous tertiary boundary, when the dinosaurs were wiped out. Again, ChronoZoom makes it easy to put things into perspective. We can zoom out to the Big Bang in an instant. For now, let's dive back in. Here we're finally getting to something most of us can relate to. This is a time scale describing primate evolution. But to get to us, we'll have to zoom in even more. This time scale shows all of human evolution. But our species, Homo sapiens, is just the most recent step. This block contains everything we've ever known to happen to humanity. But where do things like Egyptians and Romans, which many of us consider to be ancient history, fall on the time scales? This box shows the past 5 million years in greater detail. Here we can see data on the Earth's magnetic polarity the temperature of the planet, and even the time periods when the Sahara Desert was wet or dry. If we zoom closer, we can see the past 50,000 years. And finally, the past 5,000 years. Now we can see the pharaohs of Egypt, from the Old Kingdom to the Middle Kingdom and the New Kingdom. The Romans finally appear, as do Arabs and Ottomans. Soon, ChronoZoom will be able to zoom even farther, down to the year, month, week, and even individual days. But ChronoZoom doesn't just make finding time periods easy, it makes it easy to learn about them too. ChronoZoom can embed information directly into the timescales. We're looking at the last 5 million years again. Let's say we want to learn about separate pills. By zooming into this box, we can immediately start reading about them. If you want to learn more, just keep zooming in. In fact, 
we can embed entire articles into ChronoZoom. This is an article on cyberpills. Each of these columns is a page in the report. We can see the introduction, methods, and more. We can even embed full screen, high resolution diagrams. Lecture slides, videos, and more can be embedded in the same way. Best of all, Chronosim doesn't require any special computing hardware. Any modern day laptop or desktop computer using a web browser can browse Chronosim's vast historical database. Chronosim should really help students and help big historians as we work together to develop this brand new field. No one could possibly be an expert in all the things a big historian would like to know about. But with ChronoZoom, you can browse through history rather than digging it out piece by piece. It should also help overcome the great barrier of time scales, which for so long has kept historians and historical scientists from communicating with each other. Written human history is overwhelmingly rich in information and detail but it only goes back about 5,000 years. The history of Earth and of life goes back a million times farther to 5,000 million years ago, but with a much less detailed chronicle of events. Cosmic history goes back three times farther still, but with very little detail at all. ChronoZoom, by letting us move effortlessly through this enormous wilderness of time, Getting used to the differences in scale should help to break down the time scale barriers and make the past at all scales comprehensible as never before. Roland and I invite you to join us in the adventure of bringing ChronoZoom to life.